Myanmar junta kills 80 plus protesters as conditions continue to deteriorate. This is a topics report. And our first headline link is Myanmar forces killed dozens in a single day. This is from breakingnews.ie. So this is from breaking news. It says dozens of people were killed in one day in a crackdown by Myanmar security forces on pro-democracy protesters, according to reports from independent local media and an organization that keeps track of casualties. The reported death toll of 82 in the city of Bago was a preliminary one. Preliminary. So probably killed a lot more. Scores killed in one day in Myanmar crackdown on protesters, reports say from France 24. At least 82 people were killed in one day in a crackdown by Myanmar security forces on pro-democracy protesters, according to reports Saturday from independent local media and an organization. That's, that's almost the same exactly thing as that. Then we get secret newsletter keeping communities informed in Myanmar, Euronews.com. So young people in Myanmar are fighting the military junta's information suppression and internet shutdown by producing an underground printed newsletter. Sami stopped. And like I said, this is one of the reasons, there's a number of reasons we're following Myanmar on the freedom. So one of them is how are people responding to this basically attempt by a government to totally control them with today's current technology? And, well, they're turning to old technology as well. They're, they're becoming, once again, the pamphleteers. Uh, the English Civil War. I always think of the English Civil War when I think of the... It, this isn't where news originated, but I would say that a large part of what American news would become was formed in the early stages of the English Civil War when you had pamphleteers that were creating all kinds of... Some of it may be somewhat truthful, but most of it just sensationalist stuff intended to inflame people to one cause or another. One cause saying that... One group saying... Protestants are eating babies and the other side saying Catholics are eating babies. I don't know what these underground printed newsletters are like, but I'm sure that uh, many of them are are dripping with uh, fake news and many of them are. Uh, but maybe not. In this case, they don't need the fake news. If, if the junta is really doing these hideous things, they might not need actual fake news. Real news will do the job just fine. So and I've, I've reported before how they're also using FM transmitters to uh, to send send communication to people and I'm waiting for them to start 3D printing drones and, and starting drone attacks on the Myanmar Hunter. That That is what I'm hoping I see uh, because that would, well, that would ma match my theory about how I believe that the reality powers fundamentally shifted in favor of the defensive over the offensive and I'm really anxious because this is an early test of my theory, what happens in Myanmar. Not necessarily a, one way or another, a, a final authoritative, authoritative uh, stand, uh, statement, if you will, on that theory, but, but, a, but a huge, huge factor in determining whether I'm on the right track or not. Myanmar security forces kill 82 pro-democracy protesters in a single day. That's globalnews.ca. We have Myanmar forces kill 82 in a single day in city. That's from CBN.com. Violence on Myanmar continues as military cracks down on opposition from NPR. More than 80 dead as violent clashes unfold between protesters and military after a coup from the sun.uk. And finally, from Reddit. Well, let's see exactly where. Myanmar's military is charging families $85 to retrieve bodies of relatives killed in the crackdown. And this is from cnn.com so there you have it folks that's what's going on in Myanmar and we're probably going to monitor this tomorrow as well we'll see but probably <laughs>